hi hello sasya gal you all are watching me at punjab kesri now the times and today i have an actress who is really talented but abhi main bolungi wo ek aisi dysfunctional family se hain jinka kuch nahi ho sakta bahut confused rehte hain sab log apni life ko leke so yes as with us aka ira dubey she is very pretty uh, वैसे तो मैं पहले आपको कॉम्प्लीमेंट कर देती हूं आप इतनी प्रिटी हो कैसे मैनेज कर लेती हो इतना सुंदर दिखना थैंक यू सो मच सब 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 गंदी आदतें छोड़ दी और oh, जैसे, <laughs> जैसे कि जैसे कि वो तो समझाने की जरूरत नहीं है <laughs> नहीं नहीं आई एम ब्लेस्ड यू नो जोक्स असाइड आई एम ब्लेस्ड वेरी गुड जीन्स अम एन एक्टिव वेरी एक्टिव लाइफस्टाइल हाई मेटाबॉलिज्म और क्या कहूं हां अच्छा मुझे ऐसा लग रहा है अगर मैं आंख बंद करती हूं कि मैं लिलिट को सुन रही हूं <laughs> हां वो तो बोल दिस इज आई एम गेटिंग दिस मोर एंड मोर यू नो आई लॉस्ट माय वॉइस अ लिटिल सो इट्स बिकम इवन हस्कीयर सो एवरीवन थिंक्स इट्स लिलिट ओनली हां एब्सोल्युटली वेलकम टू पंजाब केसरी आई एम रियली ऑनर टू हैव यू हियर एंड व्हाट आई अंडरस्टैंड इज आप रियल लाइफ में भी कंफ्यूज रहते हो व्हेन इट कम्स टू फैमिली रिलेशनशिप्स अम डिसफंक्शनल इज अ बेटर वर्ड uh i think everybody is a little dysfunctional in a way you know especially when you play a part in a character a character which is part of a dysfunctional family you have to tap into your real you know relationships and your real family because sabke yahan kuch to dysfunctionality hoti hai you know uh, whatever we portray on the outside is never really what's happening on the inside uh, so but this is a uh, potluck is a wonderful comic light space you know uh, what i loved about the show and i love about the show and i why i'm so thrilled to be a part of it is um uske andar ek ek bahut hi nazuk lightness hai uh, which is part of life and i think after covid and after what the world has been through for so many, for so long we needed something like this you know i think people are tired of seeing very heavy dark violent things i think um, mm-hmm. so i think uh, uski wajah se i think people are really relating to it people are really loving it uh, jitne bhi pagal hai family utne hi utne hi zyada humko appreciation mil rahi hai puri pagal kism ki hoti hai dysfunctional hoti hai na wo log aapas mein bahut pyar karte hain they love exactly. each other exactly exactly the more i think the more you embrace that crazy side and the dysfunctionality the more you love each other fiercely you know अच्छा व्हेन इट कम्स टू यू है ना वो तो यू थिंक अबाउट लाइक ब्रिंगिंग टुगेदर द फैमिली आज के वक्त में तो मतलब सबके पास इतना काम है घर वालों के पास बेटी अलग बिजी बहू रानी अलग बिजी तो कैसे आप कैसे मैनेज करते हो आई थिंक यू हैव टू मेक अ कॉन्शियस एफर्ट यू नो यू हैव टू मेक अ कॉन्शियस एफर्ट कि हमको एक हफ्ते में एक दिन या दो हफ्ते में एक दिन तो मिलना ही है स्पेंड टाइम करना ही है जहां पे भी हो किसी विच पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड यू आर इन व्हाट यू आर डूइंग डजेंट मैटर आई रिमेंबर व्हेन आई वाज इन स्कूल आई यूज्ड टू फाइंड वन ऑफ माय वन ऑफ माय फर्स्ट बॉयफ्रेंड्स ओके ओह ही हैड दिस थिंग विद हिज फैमिली मोहित गोना बी लाइक व्हाई यू टॉकिंग अबाउट पर्सनल थिंग्स आई कैन ऑलरेडी सी मोहित फेस so he used to have this he used to have this every sunday evening there was a dinner with the family you know like even if i wanted to spend time with him or no it was every sunday was family time which i think now in retrospect i feel like kya achhi itni achhi khubsurat matlab cheez thi wo ki you made time for family every sunday no matter what you know so i think like that it may need not be every sunday but it's very important to take out that time because as you grow older and as you get busier you know and you get more independent everyone like you say goes into their own lives which is what potluck is really about pehle season mein especially i think jo uska wo mudda hai the show itself is called potluck so uska jo mudda hai ki ek potluck ke dauran uh-huh. it's got two 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 levels i think it works on that one is you're coming together you know the other is that you're also bringing individual dishes to the table which means that everybody is bringing their own stuff to the table <laughs> but still you're coming together the basic thing is that you're coming together you know everyone has their own stuff which is also part of life and family that you know you're bringing your own sort of baggage your own problems your own celebration your own whatever it may be you know but when you come together it is the feeling of being together and being there for each other is more important than anything else you know Do you feel like social media or like this kind of thing? Then, ah, uh, talking on video calls. If you're not there in your absence, then ah, uh, it 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 makes relationships stronger or, or it keeps you apart. I mean, it plays an important role. Social media. I think social media is a very. I can have an a, 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 like a separate interview only on social media. Uh, <laughs> social media has a very good. Uh, you know, it's got a. Social media has got a very important role in today's world. There's no question about that. Uh, it has connected people in a way like never before. 
um, you know, the kind of access people have to famous people, to people they admire, not just in, in, in the acting world, not in the entertainment world, in any field, whether it's politicians, yeah. whether it's sports people, whether it's, you know, anybody. So, I, I, you know, uh, scientists, whatever it may be. I mean, I know you can write to a scientist on Twitter today and you might even get a response, you know. So it's it's that accessible. So that is a brilliant thing. The connectedness that has emerged because of it. But the flip side of that, like everything has a flip side, is that uh, people use it in a way to spread hate, a lot of negativity. Uh, there's a lot of sort of... Um, free opinions in the name of democracy and free opinions you know people just say what the hell they want you know uh, and it also gives people a false sense of importance in a way ki sabse sabki opinion matter karti hai you know but ab sabki opinion matter nahi karti hai at all you know to ye jo and also in in social media especially in instagram i feel that there is a possibility that it could lead to an over obsession with the way that you look, with what you portray about your life, with the difference between what is real and not real, you know, uh, you know, because everything you show the world is not necessarily real. And that can make a, a big, uh, you know, disconnect uh, for each individual personally about their sense of self, their sense of happiness, anxiety, depression, you know, all these things, which happens a lot with young people. Uh, because of social media. So social media, like I said, is a different topic. We'll do another interview about social media. But one thing is that social media, which I will connect with life, with relationships, you can put social media on filters in life. You can't put life in life. And I'm so happy you said that because Potluck is a show without any filters. That much I can guarantee. Hmm. Absolutely. I've seen another family member who's gone back. So today, I'm going to be as it compares to normal people who love us unconditionally. The pets that Yes, yes. So how much do you, you love your pet? Oh, my, my pet. Yes. My, my pet is, there are two of them. So I, they, they give me so much joy. They, give, you know, they, un, they like you said, they're unconditional. They, mm -hmm. I mean, no matter what mood, where you've come from, how long you've been away, they greet you as if they've just, you've just left five minutes ago. So, I mean, what could be more beautiful than that? They're unconditional creatures, especially dogs. I've never had cats. Um, I'm kind of curious about cats. I'll never forget one acting teacher told, had told me long ago that cats are like, to, be, to, to observe body language, you should observe cats. And I always wonder why. You know, because they're very uh, physical creatures, you know, and they're mm. very in touch with their bodies, very in touch with their bodies. So uh -huh. the way they move is very, if you actually sit and observe them, uh, it's a way of getting in touch with your own body, you know, so it's interesting. So I'm interested in having a cat only for this reason, so I can do some homework. <laughs> uh, what I have learned or like listened or heard about cats is like they only come and touch you or make a connect with you if they love you. Yeah. you that. They're more independent and they don't need that love that uh, constantly. They don't oh. need the attention constantly. Hmm, absolutely. Well, in fact, if I talk about Akansha, the first part and the second part, it's like two years. And one yes. And two years. yes, yes, yes. We've been waiting. We've been waiting, <laughs> waiting, waiting. So boy, we all were waiting for the second season. So your character in the first season, which things are you getting from that? Akansha has changed. Akansha is very much the mother, what has really changed with Akanksha is basically that, you know, with Akanksha and Vikrant, what we are trying to sort of explore, he's the eldest son in the family. They have three children. Uh, they are the couple who have sort of managed to establish in some way, of course, in that dysfunctional, quirky, um, slightly sort of lopsided way, which is what the show is about, which is, which is what life is about have tried to handle, you know, having these three children, um, moving into a new house. At the end of the last season, they were they were going to be moving into a new space. Um, they were trying to sort of figure out career-wise how they're going to move forward. These two were twins, the smaller children, were not planned. So the first child was planned, of course, and the second two just sort of were unplanned, which is, of course, very funny in a way, but this also happens in life. And they're just... They're just like, oh God, now what are we going to do? You know, how are we going to manage? So I think it kind of looks at that transition as we move into season two, it looks at that transition and how these, this couple decides to manage this. So Akanksha, for example, decides, I won't say too much, but decides to go back to work. And in that context, if she goes back to work, then who's going to be with the kids? Mm -hmm. You know, um, so this is really what happens and it looks, you look at gender roles, which I think is such an important thing in today's 
world mm. to understand how gender roles are shifting also you know yes. it's not the same it's not the same a husband can very much um you know take time off work take care of the child you know uh, cook clean whatever i mean those ideas those conventional ideas have shifted a lot so i think what we're trying to do is also sort of explore that and also explore the relationship between them given that she is going back to work she is ambitious she has her <laughs> own desire her own you know she has her own uh, sort of dreams and desire and then in the context of her work which is the other aspect of it which is very fun which again i won't reveal too much is where has she gone to work <laughs> and what is happening over there that's true that's true okay. so so she's gone to work in sort of a startup okay um and she's surrounded by how do i say it i mean i don't want to get this wrong um gen z sort of people kids okay ha uh-huh. she not she's not a gen z person i don't even know what we are i'm assuming you and i are from we i maybe what are we called i don't even know because why x w i don't know <laughs> ha huh? yeah, millennials no so that millennials is- millennials okay so we are millennials um so this is she's gone to work with some young much younger very talented oh. young younger people so what happens to her there you know so it kind of explores again the generational the generational gaps which again coming back to your point about social media is also something you realize you know okay. when you're following you're following an amita bachchan or following um, a much older person on twitter or i'm following whatever vis-a-vis some very young uh, you know uh, instagrammer uh, and it's like oh my god you know so so i think that that generational thing is also very interesting so these are the two angles akanksha going back to work uh vikran sort of having to deal with the kids at some level um and where is she going back to work and how does that sort of affect her you know uh these are the main things in this and what i like this this season uh, also sort of moves out of the um the the predictable sort of situations that you may expect and starts to really look at each character and each character's um world in a new way you know you're going deeper into each of these characters who are part of this family of course and the family keeps bringing them together uh but they also have their own lives so i think you'll we'll open up with each of those characters and you'll get to know them much more in this season so what akanksha thinks ki vikram would be able to manage all the kids all the household responsibilities everything on his own what she thinks i think that she she that that the good thing about these two as quirky and and sort of um, cute as they are is that there's a with especially with this couple from all the three couples because of the time maybe that they've spent together it's 10 years of marriage one would say or 10 years of being together is that this this massive trust that is a surrender oh. and that trust matlab forget ah. that he whether she doesn't doubt that he will manage it he's going to have to manage it however he's ah. going to have to manage it you know now it's his problem you know which comes with, which comes with being together and also there's also a lovely angle of what happens in a marriage after 10 years which you'll know again i don't want to reveal too much but between the two of them you know what is their relationship like now what is important do they have time for each other do they have time for other things to have fun to you know enjoy each other what happens to a marriage after three children you know so that's also another angle that is very important in this season और मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि यार एक्टर्स की जिंदगी अच्छी भी होती है और एक तरह से बहुत चैलेंजिंग भी होती है एक तो ये कि एक ही लाइफ में बहुत सारे कैरेक्टर्स जीने का मौका मिल रहा है दूसरा ये कि हर किरदार अलग होता है तो दैट्स अ चैलेंज योरसेल्फ टू गेट इनटू द शूज ऑफ दैट कैरेक्टर हाउ चैलेंजिंग इज uh depends on the character entirely uh, i'm going to be playing a historical character uh, i can't mention in what but in a show this year uh, that's that's a different challenge but playing a woman just a normal woman who who is uh, married with three children is also a challenge in fact sometimes the more realistic parts are even even more challenging in a way because to keep it very real uh, you know you have to find that balance because creating a kanksha through parts of me and then ha- having the imagination and the inspiration to create her because i've never been a mother i've never you know i've never had three kids so i think it's a balance of both things so sometimes even the very realistic ones are quite challenging depends on the part it i mean as a what do you love playing the most since you are like acting when you were 6 if i'm not wrong hai yeah. na yeah. the very yeah. small age started acting to ye bhi ek apne aap mein badi baat hoti hai ki bachpan se aap act kar rahi ho the most i mean senior most actress in the town right we didn't we didn't but don't say senior most yeah <laughs> that just gives the wrong impression <laughs> no but i think we didn't have a choice you know again aapke baat nahi aayi um 
we didn't have a Main- choice you know we grew up um, my aunt in delhi lucian dubey and her and uh, her, my other aunt bubble sabarwal they ran a children's theater company called kids world and we all were thrown on stage we didn't have a choice 3 4 years old we all like just dumped on stage so we wow. began acting at a very young age i think i was the only one who wanted to pursue it seriously as a career um my entire family all my siblings cousins everyone had started acting when we were young but everyone's gone into different fields some have gone into psychology some have gone into finance banking uh, you know many different fields so hardly any and we come from a family of engineers and doctors and and my mother and myself and my aunt lucian probably are the black sheep because we're the only sort of artistic ones uh, ah. you know so and we pursued that though everybody has creativity in them i believe that i mean even a businessman and if you notice doctors businessmen very often they enjoy music or painting or ah. something you know so or, or singing or whatever it may be so everybody has that side it's like the left and right side of your brain you know ah. uh, the left side is your logical side the right side is your creative side so i think that it's what you want to pursue and what which talent you want to hone so i took it very seriously i studied acting i went abroad i i did my theater studies education over there and i took it very seriously i wanted to make this a career you know so uh, there was no looking back i think from the when from the age of 6 7 i think by the time i was 8 10 years old i knew very clearly that this is what i want to do oh that's interesting acha abhi to options bahut sare ho gaye na ott bhi aa gaya hai and then podcast is there pehle pehle se theater yeah. hota tha ya hoti thi hai na yeah. so what change do you see and how are you taking that i want to know each and everything from you well there's a there's like you said very rightly that there's lots happening there's plenty ah. happening i'm going to be doing a a podcast for bbc which is based on the mahabharat i'm going to be doing some radio play for something you know uh, i'm doing two shows on ott this year i'm also working on developing and maybe acting in producing and acting in a couple of feature films there's a lot of space there's a lot of space for a lot of things you know um and as you rightly said today i can listen to content on my phone when i'm traveling you know i mean and and the podcast thing especially what you said podcasts have been very popular abroad for a long time but they're just coming into the picture over here you know people are just getting familiar because there in america the thing is like my friends tell me that podcast as a matlab you're working you don't have staff so you do everything on your own so you're working right you're putting something on and you're just listening while you're doing yes. some chores you know while you're doing something but you're also absorbing content while you're working so the uh-huh. ways of absorbing content have changed the mediums uh-huh. have changed the number of mediums have increased massively the formats have increased massively i get i get i get a 5 minute film i can get a 30 minute podcast i can get a feature film whatever i want do the market and the business is also changing theatrical mm-hmm. has the world of theatrical cinema is going through a massive upheaval we don't know what it's what's going to happen to it i mean pathan has been of course very encouraging for the industry in general i mean sharukh sharukh you know uh, we all love him so so sharukh uh, only ha huh. but what i'm saying is exactly because it's sharukh right so what it's going to mean for the industry we still don't know we still don't mm-hmm. know but theatrical films in itself are people going to go back to watching films in theaters we don't know we don't know you know exactly uh, so so i think that the, the definitely ott has taken over the world and but that said it's given actors like potluck for example i mean it's a kind of show i believe really i, I believe that has a very long life you know mm. uh, it's it's it it could go into multiple seasons because there's so many wonderful stories that can be told about these seven eight characters once you created that 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 family and you have mm. that connect with people and people love us and people want to watch us so i think it's it's this is the kind of space only the ott space could give us this chance not even television not mm. even television mm. even some kind of content which is created on even films if i talk about andaz apna apna or like uh, yeah. one side pdlj family movies hum aap kahe ko yeah that we can watch with our family or if we are alone also any time you know we can yes. just stick it up that's the kind of potluck series was uh, made yes. i think we are expecting that from potluck season 2 yes yes and inshallah you will get just that and lots more definitely thank you so much ira for talking to us it's one such Absolutely. wonderful pleasure 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 thank you so much